welcome to today's video. Today is Thursday. Hardly been able to keep track of the date. Hardly been able to keep track of what day it is because it, we're still on Christmas holidays. Once Gabby goes back to school, it'll be a little easier. At least just using my leg to stretch. Uh, you guys know we've embarked on the journey of rock tumbling and it's too cold to empty our tumbler outside. You're supposed to empty it outside because you don't want to put the junk inside there down a drain. I'm going to show you what our rocks look like. This is what it looks like. We've been tumbling it already. It's been, they've been tumbled for four days. Yeah. Well, all the others <gasps> are stuck. <laughs> I was like, well, they evaporated fast. So the rocks that we put in were a lot bigger than this. They're getting really tiny, but I'll show you. So this was Sophie's and it is my favorite one. It's literally like marble. Do you see how it has like gray veining in it? It's literally, it's literally like this marble rock. And then this one is really, really cute too. This is Sophie's. These were the gems that we put in there. They were huge compared to this. So every time you do it, I don't they shrink up a bit because it's basically breaking little bits off and making them soft. It says not to put too many rocks in there at a time because it needs room for them to move around, but I think we put too few rocks. Kit came with this tiny ring and Sophie has this tiny stone and she could literally make the cutest little ring out of it. Isn't that cool? It also came with this necklace. If I don't say necklace right, people will go out, come after me. So necklace. So we're gonna do the very last step now. We're gonna make them shiny. We're gonna try and make them shiny so we can make some jewelry. So recently I said that we were gonna start making some changes in the house. So we're gonna start today. They're gonna be small changes for a slow and steady kind of family. So one room that we never use ever is this room here. You use it every day? Yeah. Well, I would if I wasn't scared. So this is an uh, extra bedroom in our house. There's so many dead flies in here. There's dead flies in the window. I'll have to vacuum those. It's all here. Oh. All right. I'm, I brought I the brought vacuum. Tripod. I brought the vacuum up. You found that tripod? I need a tripod. I'm looking for a tripod. I'm trying to find one that I like, though. Anyway, so this is where the girls have been playing Schleich. And by girls, I mean Sophie and Brooklyn. We have all of our Schleich stuff in here. That's a lot of Schleich stuff. And then we have some storage. Not like a ton of storage, but stuff that I want to keep inside the house so it doesn't get ruined. Everybody, I open the door and everybody's like, a new room! <laughs> we can't go anywhere. That cat is obsessed. This room is warmer than Sophie's room. It even has a fan on. I mean, I'll take this room too. Our plans for this room. So today we're... She, she's in the barn. <laughs> Let's see, move out of the way. <laughs> oh gosh. So our plans for this room is to clean it up today. Here get it all emptied out. These I think are Brooklyn socks <laughs> from the summer. So we literally never come in here. So I think I'm gonna go through all this stuff that I wanna keep. I am gonna store it in the, in the closet, even though I'd love to have that closet for I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but we're going to clean this room out. And After I want this room. You do want it? Like, in my room. Why? What would you do with it? I would... Because only one bedroom is not good enough for Sophie. <laughs> okay, well, I have a lot of stuff, so I just throw my junk in here. Yeah, there's not. It's not happening. You are your father's daughter, for sure. Most, the majority of the stuff in this room are like stuff. I haven't used this. I know. I'm keeping it, though. Do you know why I'm keeping that? I'm keeping it for the grandkids now. I keep it up here and even this little horse because I want to keep them for their kids. I feel like these are things that are so close to our heart. They're animated. And I know that you can't get them anymore and I know that their kids will love them. For one set of pajamas. Sophie's little reborn baby. Brooklyn lost it. Yeah, blame everything on Brooklyn. No, anyways, so today we're gonna get this room cleaned up and I'm gonna vacuum it and clean it and wash everything down because I want to make it actually into a working bedroom. <laughs> so you can sleep in here if you get bored, Sophie, of your other room. <laughs> but the reason I want to make it into a bedroom is because my grandkids, who live one and a half and three hours away, two different families, um, live quite far and they can't come all the time. So they're coming soon for a weekend. 
And I want us to have a bedroom that we can all sleep in. In the past, we slept in the trailer, we slept in the living room. How many people do you think we're gonna be able to sleep in here? How many people do you think we're gonna be able to sleep in here? Hopefully five. All right, so we're gonna go through all this. Gabby's supposed to be coming so she can sort through her schleich. I wanna get rid of these buckets here and find better buckets because it's hard to store. Those used to fit underneath yeah. their beds. Oh my gosh, it is hot in this room. This is the room where all the heat goes. Holy heck. All right, so Gabby is reminiscing going down uh, a reminiscing path. So I'm helping to clear out her schleich. And I just wanted to sh show you guys this one. I was gonna toss it because it's not schleich. And Gabby pointed out that a fan sent it to us, sent it to her, and it's supposed to be Storm. And it actually looks like Storm. So we're keeping that. So this is Gabby's bucket. Uh, this is their dowry. This is your dowry. This is your dowry. Do you know what dowry means? So this is your inheritance. Just kidding, but they have a lot of schleich, you guys. Look at that, it's so cute. So I low-key want my grandkids to play with this stuff. Because I know Aria and Brooklyn would just go be in heaven, but the problem is is that they I want it to be kept nice for my kids and my kids don't want them to play with it. So we're keeping it. Ta-da! I got it all cleaned out. It's all ready to go. Mostly ready to go. And my sound machines. I love using them with my grandkids. Clean it all out and vacuumed it up. This is the hottest room in the whole house. I'm glad this is not where my room is. Uh, this, all this stuff is garbage, essentially. And all of our schleich is in here. All of Gabby's schleich is in here. All of Sophie's is in her room. Her barn and stuff is in here. And a lot of her big pieces, but her horses are all in her room. But that is it. Welcome to grandkids. Grand Station grandkids, you guys. This is where we're gonna sleep. The boys wanna sleep outside in the trailer and camp, and the girls are too scared to do that, or at least Brooklyn is. So we're gonna kinda mix it up. I don't know what's gonna happen. The girls, Sophie and Brooklyn, might sleep in here, and the boys and I, and Aria might sleep outside. I don't know what's gonna happen, but you guys will see. I'll video it all. Oh, so when Gabby was little, and she was obsessed with Macy, our Chihuahua, I bought her this little kit. It's the puppy pups, pupper pups. Mm -hmm. And it has all these, there's more clothes in here, eh? Yeah. Has all these clothes in here and all these accessories and then it came with three dogs. Oh, a bunch of dogs. So I asked Sophie to, I found it upstairs. I asked Sophie to get it ready for me. So everything gets stored in here um, because I'm gonna show Aria it and see if she gets interested in that. Stay. We're getting, we're getting ready to go outside and she's finally got it. Wait. Stay. Good girl, she just came right beside me and sat here and waited. That's Usually she's like a wild thing right now. So the fact that she's calm. Well, there's that good thing right girl. Now. So we got snow last night. <laughs> We're not super happy about it. Should go. It's chore time. And Sam and I have a project. Hello. <laughs> So there's two fences in the paddock. You need me to bring them? Yeah. All right. So. Yeah. Is it just me that you need help from? No. All right. You guys hear that? After you're done chores, come down to the goat barn so that we can all work. Get a coat on. Oh, you got a coat on. Four days left of vacation. I'm not. Waiting. Four days left to voca vacation. What? Not wasting them doing this. <laughs> yes, you are. She's not wasting her time doing chores, doing help. Hi, sweet girl. She's like, Do you want me today? Yeah, it's cold. Your eye is yuck. Yeah, I love you too. All right, so Sam says there's fencing down here. He needs me to bring. I see absolutely no fencing. Hi. Are you looking for a warmer blanket today? Tonight we'll put warmer blankets on you. She's like, I'll come with you. <laughs> I love you too, Penny. <sighs> I don't have any treats. You guys know, the duck and the goose have been locked in for four days because I'm terrified of them getting eaten 
by a bird. Storm wants to help. Don't run out here. The ground is really, this blanket, I do not like it on you. It's not a very thick one. What? Yeah, I'm gonna put the goats in. It's freezing and it's late. It's almost time to put the animals in. And I need to like figure out, do you wanna do this tomorrow? We'll take these down today and show me what you're gonna do and then we'll fit, we'll do it tomorrow? I don't know, <laughs> is it gonna be warmer tomorrow? We had sun today, I saw in the news last night that we didn't have sun for almost two weeks over Christmas and I have sad seasonal, seasonal whatever disorder. I get like really down when there's no sun. And so they were saying on the news that so many people had issues over the holiday, over the Christmas holiday because we had no sun. It was all, it rained for a week and then was so dark, but we had sun today. Wait, is Sophie coming? She's in the bathroom. Watch out, horses. I'm waiting for Sophie to help me with mine. Anyway, we're gonna try and build something so that they're safe. I really want them to be free range. I believe in free range. If you lock them up, then what kind of a life is that to be locked up? But then I also want them to be safe. And in winter, it's way, there's such higher risk because there's less food out there for, for animals. And our, our duck and our goose are protected from so many things. And with all the fencing around this property, they're so safe, but not from the air. So uh, I would die if they, if something happened, like, and they, I would die. Like, I, we love them so much. Why are you trying to bite my fingers? You don't even know I had a candy cane on there. All right, so we're going to, we're going to drag the fence down. Sophie hurries up. And he's going to just show me what we're going to do and then we'll figure it out and we'll hopefully do it tomorrow because it is really cold. Ellie! I swear she's jealous. She keeps looking over at me and and her pinning her ears at him <laughs> because she doesn't like that. Um, because I'm her girl. Yeah. Storm, but you guys don't... Storm. She doesn't like... And she's so snotty. I have no candies though. That's a rock. I got nothing. Wow. Uh, this morning I told Sam, like, we need to figure out something for the duck and the goose. To the horses. What? They, they like the horses better. I know. So now, well, Lucy has been coming down here a lot. So this is just temporary. It's totally temporary. So I build something in the summer with wood. Then we build something in the it's summer with wood. Idea, what? Might be the same idea. So this is going to be the duck and the goose area now. So are we going to cover this? Well, you'll get them. Well, obviously. They're going to cover it with that metal. That's in the... Okay. So that they... need that gate right there. All right. Gabby. Come on, Gabby. It's just temporary though. So we're going to finish this up and then get back in the house. We're going to put the goats to bed now because it's almost bedtime. Early enough, late enough that they can go in and it is cold. We're going to finish this all up and we'll share it with you guys tomorrow. I just want them to be able to be outside because they, oh my gosh, the goats. They don't want them to be locked in all the time. They can't be locked in all the time. I feel so emotional now. Today I felt really good, but I feel emotional now because I feel so lucky that we got to keep our, our goose because it could have gone so much worse. And I'm so grateful that we get to keep him and he's healthy still and he's doing really well. And then I felt really emotional about packing away their schleich. Packing away or getting rid of their schleich. Finally putting it like out of a way so they can't get it whenever they just want to play with it. Even though they haven't played with it really in a long time. It was so super emotional for me because it's like the end of their childhood like like look back on our channel and you will see what a, a role it played in our lives like we spent their childhood is like and horses and just getting rid of that just feels like to me like we're saying goodbye to their childhood and I know they're not kids anymore they're not children anymore and they haven't been for a long time but it just makes me sad anyway that is it We'll see you guys tomorrow and I'll show you the finished duck and goose run. Don't you know that you're beautiful?